Lord and say, Father, speak to me in Jesus' name. Father, speak to me in the name of Jesus. Open my, the ears of my understanding, the eyes of my understanding. Hallelujah. Open the eyes of my understanding. La Kundis and Masidia. Speak to me, Lord. Open the eyes of my understanding. Let your word enter me. Li Kandosidia. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, let your word go forth with power. Amen. And let the spirit of that word enter us. Amen. And quicken us. Amen. So that we will not live here the same way we came. Amen. There will be a change for the better. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Can I hear a better amen? amen? Can I hear a believing amen? amen? Can I hear a powerful amen? amen? We have been talking about obedience. Amen. The force of obedience. Everybody say with me, say the force of obedience. And we are, our key text has been from Deuteronomy chapter 28 from verse 1. Deuteronomy 28 from verse 1. Amen. And it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently. Do you see that word diligently there? Okay, not hearken casually. Not hearken lackadaisically. Amen. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do. Observe and to do. All his commandments which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Some people here will be stronger than nations. Amen. I say some people here will be stronger than nations. Amen. He says, and all these blessings shall come on you, on thee, and overtake thee. Overtaking blessings are your portion. Amen. Can I hear an amen to that? Amen. amen. I mean, you'll be running away from blessings and they are coming and overtaking you. Can I hear an amen to that? Somebody say, this is my portion. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Then he began to list out all these blessings. Blessed shall thou be in the city. Blessed shall thou be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of your body, etc., etc., etc. That is your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. But the key is obedience. Everybody say with me, obedience. Obedience, like I said last week, of all the spiritual forces, obedience is number one. Amen? Obedience is number one. Amen. Amen. Because nobody in the kingdom will be made outside of obedience. Take the story of, of Jesus at the wedding in Canaan. John chapter 2. Amen. Jesus was at a wedding with his disciples. And Jesus was at a wedding with his disciples and his mother came to him and said, the wine is finished. Jesus said, what has that got to do with me? It's not my wedding. I'm not the host. I'm not the one getting married. I'm a guest. The mother ignored him and she turned to the servants and said, whatever he tells you to do, do it. And she walked away obedience. Jesus stayed for a while and Jesus said, fill those water pots with water. They did. And he said, take the water to the chairman of the wedding. They did. When the chairman drank it, he screamed. He said, what? You kept the best wine for last? Amen. Whatever he tells you to do, do it. Whatever he tells you to do, do it. Say that with me. Whatever. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Now, obedience is a choice. Praise the Lord. It's not a gift. It's a choice. Amen. We choose to obey what we want to obey. The thing is that God is the one that has your destiny in his hands. He created you. He planned you. He plotted you. He knows where you're going. He knows where you're supposed to be. And he knows the way there. 
Amen. So if you don't listen to him, you will abort your destiny. Obedience is a choice. Like I said last week, amen, most of his instructions are personal to us. Whatever he tells you to do, do it. Give me another scenario, Luke chapter 5. Amen. Jesus was preaching and the crowd was crowding on him. And he saw Peter's boat. He saw Peter's boat and he said, can I use your boat? Peter said, sure. And he used Peter's boat, stood on it and preached. After they finished, after I finished preaching, he turned to Peter and he said, Peter, go back into the depth of this river, of the, of the lake, and throw out your net for a catch. Peter said, Jesus, you don't understand. I have been fishing all night. In this same waters, I've toiled all night, nothing. My whole family, my whole generation, we are a family of fishermen. We know fishing like the back of our hands. We've been doing this all our life. I'm a fishing magnet. But Peter had sense enough. Amen. To say, he said, nevertheless, despite my experience, despite my PhD, despite my professoral whatever, despite what I know at your word, and he went, and he cast the net. And the Bible says that they caught so much that their net break. They filled that boat. They called their friends to come with their boat. Filled both boats. Obedience. Hello, what you're looking for, God knows where it is. You don't know where it is. He's omniscience. He knows everything. What you need, he knows where it is. He knows where you can get it. Amen. The solution is to listen to him. Obedience. Can I add amen to that? You know, and you know what the Bible says? He says his commandments are not grievous. His instructions are not difficult. I don't know where we got this in perception that God's instructions are always hard. They are not. They are not. Compared to the struggles that you're going through, would you rather make, take a simple instruction? Would you rather toil all night? Or just obey a simple instruction and get what you want? Amen. Naaman came to Elisha. And Elisha said, Elisha didn't even come out to see him. He said, go and jump into the Jordan River for seven times and you get healed. Naaman was upset because it was too simple. The problem with the world is that they want something complicated. They like something hard. Amen. If it's not complicated, it doesn't look like it's going to work. You mean it's that simple? Yes, it's that simple. Amen. You shall have whatsoever you say. It's that simple. You say, I mean, if I just say it, I will have it. Yes, it's that simple. You know, but the devil wants to make you feel like, you know, for me to get such a difficult thing, it has to be difficult. Somebody shout Hallelujah. If you go through the entire Bible, all the God's instructions are always very simple. Amen? Stretch your hands on this, across the Red Sea. Go forward. Speak to the rock. Very simple. Simple. Pray. Read your Bible. Go to church. You say, but I don't feel anything. It has nothing to do with your feeling. It has to do with obedience. It has to do with obedience. Can I hear an amen to that? Can I hear an amen to that? He has, to do, he has to do with obedience. Very simple. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Remember this, that every commandment of scripture is for your own good. Every commandment of scripture is for your profiting. It's not for him. Lift up your hands and worship. It's very simple. Lift up your hands. So what will come? Lift up your hands. The Bible says that when you lift up your hands, it says it's like offering the evening sacrifice. When you lift up your hands to worship, it's like offering the evening sacrifice. Like, oh, I'm too tired. I've been working all day and all that. Meanwhile, your job, you lift up your hands if they need you to lift up your hands. 
You jump if they want you to jump. <laughs> Amen. But this, he is the source. And he come here. Lift up your hands. Dance. Amen. Simple things. Amen. Dance and rejoice. Joshua was going to go to war. Amen. With a host of nations. God told him, he said, put the, go just do praise worship. Put the singers in front, the army at the back. Simple instructions. Amen. Amen. Joshua was faced with the wall of Jericho. God said, march around it and shout. If I say shout, I say, hallelujah. <laughs> shout. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, I'm not used to it. Praise the Lord. Amen. Say, so march around the world and shout. And they did. And the world came down. It does not make sense. But that's how the God operates. He says, His ways, my ways are not your ways, and my thoughts are not your thoughts. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Every instruction is for your good. There is none that is supposed to help God or make God feel good. God doesn't need anything. I want you to get it out of your mind. God doesn't need anything. Stop thinking that you're doing God a favor when you come to church, when you pray and all that. He doesn't need anything. He has all things. Scientists are still trying to look for the end of the galaxy. And all that belongs to him. The Bible says he knows the number and the name of every star. Trillions of them. And at the same time, he knows the number on the hair of your hair. Every, all, of, any, all of your hair is numbered. No barber is permitted to cut your hair without his permission. If he doesn't permit it, they'll put the scissors and it won't work. That's what the Bible said. That's the God that we serve. He doesn't need anything. You see, you see, let me tell you, look, I'm one of those that I used to fight God a lot over everything because there's a lot of things I didn't want to do. And I began to realize that he really does not need me. Amen? He doesn't need me to do what he wants to do. Amen? So whatever he tells me to do is not to make him happy. It's for my own good. Amen. Every rebellious bone in your body today is broken in Jesus' name. Can I hear an amen to that? Amen. Amen. God has a place for you on top, but obedience is your flight to that place. Obedience is your ticket to that place. Can I hear an amen to that? I say, has a place for you on top, but obedience is your ticket to that place. So why do we disobey? It's the nature of Adam in us. Amen? Why do we disobey? Amen? Amen? We disobey not because of our schedules, and we use, oh, we have all kinds of excuses for not obeying. Oh, I'm too busy. Oh, our schedules, his appointment, is so hard. You know? We disobey because we do not have a heart for God. We don't really believe him. We don't really believe him. Because obedience is the proof of your faith. If you say, I believe, and you don't obey, then you don't really believe. Obedience is the proof of your faith. It's obedience that validates the scriptures. Amen. The Bible says that if you repent, you'll be saved. If you pray all day and all night and you don't repent, you're not going to be saved. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Abraham's agenda stands suspended when God's instruction arrived. That's the way it ought to be. Praise the Lord. When his instruction arrives, your agenda, it doesn't matter what the agenda is, it's suspended. Abraham's agenda was suspended once God's instruction in your life. Once God said, take your son, your only son, the next morning he took him. Whatever plan he had, on the shelf. Because God has spoken. 
He says, I dwell in a high and lofty world with him that's of a contrite spirit and that trembles at my word. Trembles at my word. Can I hear an amen to that? Can I hear an amen to that? Amen. You're busy. King David was busy. But you know what the Bible says? He prays, he prays three times a day. And then he does, his, he, he does praise worship seven times a day. Seven times a day. Amen. Psalm 55 verse 17. Seven times a day, three times a day he prays. And then praise sessions, Psalm 119 verse 164. Seven times a day. David said, your word, O Lord, is my meditation all day long. I'm always thinking about your word. What are you thinking about? Beyonce? Beyonce is not going to help you. <laughs> Jay-Z is not going to help you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. All those fun things that you like to do, they ain't going to help you go anywhere. Then we say, your word is my meditation all day. That's why he was one of the greatest kings ever. You cannot have a heart for God and not have time for you, for him. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Luke chapter 6, verse 44, he says, why do you call me Lord, 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 and you do not do what I say? There are so many people calling him Lord, Lord, but we don't do what he, he says. Obedience. Amen. 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 His lordship will be manifested when you obey him. He said, many people will call me Lord, Lord, and, and you don't do it. He said, he said, depart from me because I do not know you, because you do not do what I want you to do. Obedience. Everybody's obedience. Everybody's obedience. He says, Matthew chapter 7 from verse 21. He said, not everyone that said unto, the, unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in he said, verse 22, he says, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name and in thy name have cast out devils and in thy name done many wonderful works and then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that walk in equity. Obedience. Obedience. To obey is better than sacrifice. 100 sacrifice, 1 million sacrifice is, not, is no substitute for obedience. It doesn't matter what they sacrifice. Some people will sacrifice and not obey. Naaman was ready to give Elisha all his money rather than just go jump into the river. And Elisha said, I'm not interested in your money. Just obey. Because it's for your own good. So in verse 24, he said, Therefore, whatsoever, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. If you hear them and you do them, you're like a wise man who built his house upon a rock. He said, And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that, that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. Why was it founded upon a rock? Obedience. He said, and everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man who built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. Two people in the same church. They all heard. One obeyed. The other one did not obey. It. Amen. They faced the same circumstances. But obedience was his differentiator. Obedience was his differentiator. They faced the same situations, but obedience was his differentiator. Can I hear an amen to that? 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 Doing whatever the word commands will commit God to keep his word. Doing whatever the world commands will commit God to keep his word. 
Doing whatever the word commands will commit God to keep his word. And every promise of God, every promise of God has some obedience attached to it. Bring all your ties into the storehouse and prove me now and validate now and see if I will not open the windows of heaven. Obedience. Now, you can excuse it, you can question it, you can whatever. Every command in this Bible is valid. Is valid for your profiting. Can I hear an amen to that? Can I hear an amen to that? Every provision has something that you need to do to access that provision. Praise the Lord. Amen. You want to live long? You know the secret, the obedience? You want to live long? Honor your father and your mother. It's a secret to living long. Serve the Lord thy God and I will bless your bread and your water, and I'll take sickness away from you. And the number of your days I will fulfill is the secret of living long. Everything. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say amen. amen. I see giants rising amongst us in Jesus' name. Amen. I say you will never be stranded again in Jesus' name. Amen. Your destiny is opening up today in Jesus' name. Amen. The devil will never hold you bound again in Jesus' name. Because you know the secret. Obedience. Amen. Obedience. Because you know the secret now. Can I hear an amen to that? Can I hear an amen to that? Can I hear an amen to that? Somebody shout hallelujah. So when I tell you about Matthew 6, 33, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. For your own good, do it. Obey. And you'll be amazed what God will do you, will do, will do with you. I see some of you changing levels in this place. In Jesus' name. Supernaturally, dramatically, unex- inexplicably, changing levels in the name of Jesus. I see you changing levels. I see you being enthroned. I see you coming out of poverty, coming out of lack. Amen. Coming into wealth, into your wealthy place, into abundance in the name of Jesus. Can I hear an amen to that? Can I hear an amen to that? Stand on your feet and let us pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Lift up your hands unto the Lord. Lift up your hands unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands unto the Lord. Amen. Now, before, before we pray, if you are here and you've not formally, consciously made Jesus your Lord and your Savior, even if you're watching me by YouTube or online, right now you can make Jesus your Lord and your Savior. Because until you repent and you are saved, you cannot have access to the blessings. So if you're here and you want to make Jesus your Lord and your Savior, just lift up your hands where you are and say with me, say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus I, thank you I thank you for dying for me, for dying for, for me, resurrecting on the third day, for resurrecting on the third day. I acknowledge, I acknowledge that I'm a sinner, that I'm a sinner and, I need you and I need you to save me to save today. Me. Today, I repent, I repent of all my sins, of all my and sins. I ask you, Jesus, and I ask to you come Jesus, into my heart, to, come into to my be heart, my Lord and my Savior. To be my Lord from, and today, Savior. from today, I will serve you. I will serve you. I will serve you. I will, serve you. I will put you first I will put you in, first. Everything. in everything. I will serve you. I will serve all the days of my life. All the days of my life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Can I hear an amen to that? If you pray that prayer with all your heart. We believe that you are born again. Amen. 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 And you now have access into the kingdom of God. Lift up your hands wherever you are. And pray. Say, Lord, give me the spirit of obedience. Lord, give me the spirit of give me the spirit of obedience, Lord. Lord, give break me the every of rebellious and disobedient bone in my body. Every in my life. Give me the spirit of obedience. Give me the spirit of obedience. 
so that I will obey you totally, promptly, and completely. Give me the spirit of obedience. Give me the spirit of So I can obey you totally, completely. Lord, give me the spirit of obedience, Lord. Empower me, Lord, to be obedient. And do me with that spirit, Lord. Break every rebellious bone, every disobedient bone. In my body, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Can I hear a better amen? One more prayer. I want you to pray. Lift up your hands again. Say, whatever blessing has been withheld as a result of my disobedience in the past, I command it released now in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Whatever, Whatever blessing, blessing God has been revealed, withheld or oh delayed or delayed as a result of my disobedience in the past, you, oh I command it release now. I command it release now. Every blessing I command it release now. I command it release now. Black with your address. I command it release now. Man, this is for the Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Can I hear a better amen? amen? Can I hear a believing amen? amen? Receive the spirit of obedience to obey promptly, to obey completely, to obey totally, to obey thoroughly, to obey every detail in the name of Jesus. Amen. And every blessing that you have lost, that had been delayed, that had been denied, as a result of disobedience today, I command them restored. Amen. I command them released. Amen. I command them released. Amen. I command them released. Amen. They are entering your hands. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I declare this week your week of victory. Amen. Your week of restoration. Amen. Your week of dream jobs. Amen. Your week of miracle promotion. Amen. Your week of miracle promotion. Amen. Your week of miracle promotion. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Go and come back with your testimonies. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Can I hear a better amen? 